his speed. He just lets the ball roll through to his goalkeeper, takes the boost and demos the opponent. That's going to relieve pressure for the time being. He's off the wall for the redirect. He puts it on target. Speed. 1-1. And that is going to go to the air. Garrett G's up. He's coming in. Shot blocked. It on the game, but he can get there. PSG. Make it happen. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Inside Esports. I'm Brody Moore, and today is all about DreamHack Valencia. Now, before I dive into the fallout with Fruity, let's take a look at the action-packed highlights. Got to keep an eye on the River Rats as well. Whenever they get someone downfield, they like to loiter, steal, boost, and demo. Oh. Here's going to cross the cheap flip shot. <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> really heads up play by speed he just lets the ball roll through to his goalkeeper takes the boost and demos the opponent that's going to relieve pressure for the time being he's off the wall for the redirect and he puts it on target speed 1-1 one, one. Casio slow play demo tadpole into the middle and that's a beautiful equalizer a pass to the middle diving stop justin again coming off from the midfield line they'll run into garrett g on the way out and that will slow down the NRG attack, but Justin, beautiful fake, and that will be into the net. And this is where PSG are really going to be tested as well. You heard the desk talking about it. The main worry is their ability to finish oh. off the series. Ferra, 1-0! It's the final minute we go. NRG still down by two. Firebrenner with a brilliant touch and a goal! And now to join me on the line to talk about his team and others, it is DreamHack winner for Valencia, Fruity. What's up, man? How you feeling after that? I'm feeling great, man. Thank you, Leaf. It's nuts. It, it just, it, it seems so surreal. I could see it on your faces afterwards yeah. that you, you didn't really even believe it. Do you believe it now? I mean, a, a bit more, of course, but I think when the, when the money is in the bank account, you know, it, yeah. it, it finally, you, you realize it then, but yeah, it's still surreal to me. Um, Great feeling, great event. So, yeah, I couldn't be happier. That's awesome. Well, why don't we uh, kick this uh, talk off with uh, the winners of it? You guys. Not only do you guys take down NRG, but uh, you're also getting very consistent placings recently. What's responsible for, like, this much more recent consistency? I don't know. I think it's the shift of mentality. Um, mm. We just go in with every event trying to change our mentality because obviously that we we, are, we always qualify for every event and, and now that we're finally making the push to getting better results um i think it's a combination of that um so yeah we will try to continue this uh, this trend we're doing and, and hopefully do well at the next one now was it strictly the mentality or was there a game plan going into that final series against energy because they're you know generally viewed as the top dog and you guys the underdogs there was there more mm. to it the mentality or was there a strat going in to take them down i mean i think we exceeded our own expectations so we were just mm -hmm. there to have fun right um yeah. so the, the mentality was just let's go out with a bang you know like there's no need to to basically not regret anything you know um, and it was a weird feeling feeling so comfortable and confident on stage so I think it was just a mixture of everything working well together now I, I want to talk about that too because afterwards you guys did your interview after you won um, with the analysts there with Turton Gibbs um, now you guys mentioned like they kept asking you but you, you kept repeating that there were no nerves like they're going into that it didn't feel like there was any pressure on uh, on you guys was there something you guys did before to do that to get into that mentality or is, is this just a shift that happened the stars aligned i think it after the c9 reverse sweep we did um i think we just everyone on the team calmed down mm. um i think that we started to realize this could be our tournament to win right um so whatever happened happens um and we we're just happy to be alive after that series i think so <laughs> Um, but also the fact that it was just after Worlds, so there was that all that tense pressure on Worlds because it is the main tournament. That's uh, true. But so, 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 when, so, Dreamhack was was a good, good off season, uh, a good good way to end the, the season on. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, on it, let's just talk about your teammate Farah. Uh, you know, we could talk about all of you guys in depth here, but I just want to touch on Farah because he also mentioned that he's going full time and he's free from school now. What's the sky mm -hmm. looking like for this guy, and what's your, it going to do for your team? 
I think it's a huge relief for him personally. Mm-hmm. Um, he's always been so hard on himself, uh, so that freedom he now has to to do this full time and generally can can do it without having any stress or any any thoughts, and he can just enjoy it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to continue working. Um, all the work we, we we had throughout the season paid off finally, um, so I can't wait for the future and see what it holds. I'm I'm so excited to see you know maybe a a, a new dignitas stretch for this time from PSG. That'll be nuts. <laughs> but yeah, that's I, awesome. I, yeah, yeah. So we got we got to talk about NRG. Of course, this was Fireburner's last event. This man's a legend, playing through Sart BC. Now, all the way th- is the only other one besides Garrett to make to every single land. Can you just talk to us about his uh, career um, and what it you know meant for NRG and what he was like in your eyes as a player? So if there's one name everybody knows, it's Fireburner. Mm-hmm. This guy's been here around since the beginning, and he's been consistently one of the best players on top teams in, in NA. Um, so the legacy he leaves behind is something that every player can only dream of. Um, is that what we all strive to have? Is it, is a career like Fireburner? So to see him go out on top um, is is something that you can only admire and really respect as as a competitor myself. Yeah, I would have been. I would have been a, a feels good moment to play against him in the in the finals. There, being like, this is the last mm. time, and I get to I get to experience that with him. That would have been. Uh, that would have been fun. Now, of course, because of that, energy has a, a hole to fill. Obviously, if if we know things on the inside, we can't let it out there. But how do you go about finding someone to fill that void? I mean, like, what kind of role do you think energy should be looking for to fill that the shoes of Fireburner? Um, they can go a different route than they, they're used to because okay. maybe they're used to something more conservative in their play style. Maybe they can start doing more more offensive stuff. Um, so so now is a difficult time or more, I would say actually more exciting time for NRG because this is the time where they redefine their team. Um, they need to find someone that that either fits in or they fit in with them or, or, or they can just try out all these different play styles. Maybe they couldn't with Fireburners. So, um, energy is going to be an interesting season to see for them, uh, but it's definitely going to be exciting. Now, I want to talk about Renault Vitality, the RLCS Season, season 7 uh, winners. Uh, you know, they had some issues at, at DreamHacks recently. Dallas wasn't a good placing. Fifth uh, out at Valencia here. What do you think is causing this up and down in the results? Um, I think winning the World Championship just puts so much um, belief and and relaxation in through okay. that team that they maybe come became a bit complacent uh, but you don't know because they showed out really huge day one and two um, and they only really had one bad series and that was against nrg and and then out of the tournament because of how the format works mm-hmm. so i don't know if we can specifically take anything away from that um but I think it's just that the, the event was so shortly after Worlds that maybe that played a factor. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe they just needed a, a moment to rest, right? But mm. anyways, Fruity, I just want to say huge congrats for winning DreamHack Valencia, and Thank I'm you. looking forward to seeing what PSG can do going forward. Thanks for joining, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me.